as a, as a Southeast Asia chair and the board of directors of IDF. Uh, I think IDF is always committed to type 1 diabetes from day one. And you are aware that on the global board also, uh, people living with diabetes and particularly focus on type 1 diabetes always have a seat on the board. So that's something very pertinent and important to recognize. Diabetes has partnered with all stakeholders related to type 1 diabetes management, uh, apart from the Atlas, apart from the meetings, apart from having a big advocacy and focus, uh, kids' programs, uh, they have always been having a focus for people living with diabetes. Uh, there are two areas where IDF has a further focus. One is the IDF School of Diabetes. Uh, is a capacity building uh, site where uh, they are looking at developing type 1 diabetes modules for healthcare professionals, for educators and nurses, as well as for pharmacists and for lay people. So that is one area where there is an idea focus on the uh, uh, capacity building fund from the school perspective. Secondly, uh, I welcome all of you all at Lisbon. Uh, and you know that the Lisbon Congress virtually is now free. Uh, for everyone who is interested in attending the meeting and physically also there is a for low and middle income countries a very competitive registration price and there if you see the various streams there are dedicated streams for people living with diabetes particularly type 1 diabetes idf is usually committed for affordable accessible insulin and has a clear mandate and a mission that no human being on planet earth should be deprived of insulin uh, independent of type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Uh, IDF is clearly recognizing the fact that there should not be any stigma or discrimination and therefore the word diabetic should not be used in common parlance. Uh, we should always use the word people living with diabetes or people living with type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes. Uh, IDF is very mindful that uh, mental health plays a huge role and behavioral science plays a huge role in the uh, overall management of diabetes and type 1 diabetes in particular. Therefore, it's usually committed for the same. And IDF uh, and it's each of its regions are usually committed for camps related to type 1 diabetes, particularly the young leaders of diabetes. Uh, many type 1 diabetics uh, of, who are living now are members of the youth leadership brigade of uh, the IDF, as well as the young diabetes leaders program and have benefited from the same. And IDF is keen to partner with all stakeholder and member organizations, uh, including ISPAD and others uh, who have been involved in uh, uh, clinical care, uh, research and education uh, for healthcare professionals, uh, for uh, medical doctors, as well as for the people uh, around the communities related to diabetes, particularly type 1 diabetes. Uh, IDF is also now vibrant on social media and is trying to make its footprint and people living with type 1 diabetes are right at the uh, forefront of this uh, social media footprint as well. Uh, the IDF has a newsletter called Diabetes Voice, in which uh, a complete section is reserved for people living with type 1 diabetes. And IDF has a mandate that uh, it's committed to clinical care research uh, in type 1 diabetes. Uh, its mandate is to have affordable insulin. Uh, below 10 cents uh, and universal access of insulin to every human being on planet Earth. IDF is clearly committed for ensuring that devices, including CGM, are made accessible, affordable, or even free for underserved or, or deserving populations. And, and those are really the mandates of the IDF. Uh, it has partnered closely for uh, various stakeholders in the development of the Type 1 Diabetes Index. And we know that India is a because the population of people living with type 1 diabetes um, is clearly committed to clinical care, research, and education. And those are the IDF mandates. I'm not using slides here, you know, because everyone has already said what is uh, needed and necessary. And there is a need for clearly focusing uh, both for children, adolescents, and adults, or people living with type 1 diabetes. It's a different disease, it's autoimmune disease. And clearly, uh, the numbers are uh, spiraling because uh, globally, if you see the restriction of uh, type 1 diabetes is predominantly the Scandinavian world. 
now has moved across spectrums and across geographies. So we are in a global village, as we call it, Savasudevam Kutumbam, and therefore type one diabetes is there everywhere. It's important that we create awareness, 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 education, 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 care, 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 <laughs> and it's very, very mandatory, at least in the idea. that uh, nothing is done related to type 1 diabetes without involving people living with type 1 diabetes many members of our board are type 1 people living with type 1 diabetes for a couple of decades who are on insulin pumps and are very committed to care of type 1 diabetes so that's all i will say archana here and i'm, I'm thankful that uh, best of his part is being got to people in audiences like india so that they can listen learn and adapt uh, various uh, Uh, you know care protocols so that they can have better lives living with diabetes thank you